The Testament of Gad, what things he spoke unto his sons in the 135th year, saying unto them, Hearken, my children, I was the ninth son to Jacob, and I was valiant in keeping the flock. Accordingly, I guarded at night the flock, and whenever the lion came, or the wolf, or any wild beast against the fold, I pursued it and overtook it. I seized it foot with my hand and hurled it about a stone's throw, and so killed it. Now Yosef, my brother, was feeding the flock with us for upward of thirty days, and being young, he fell sick by reason of the heat. And he returned to Hebron to our father, who made him lie down near him, because he loved him greatly. And Yosef told our father that the sons of Zephla and Bila were slaying the best of the flock and eating them against the judgment of Reuben and Yehuda. For he saw that I had delivered a lamb out of the mouth of a bear and put the bear to death, but had slain the lamb, being grieved concerning it, that it could not live, and that we had eaten it. And regarding this matter, I was wroth with Yosef until the day that he was sold, and the spirit of hatred was in me. And I wish not either to hear of Yosef with the ears or see him with the eyes, because he rebuked us to our face, saying that we were eating of the flock without Yehuda. For whatsoever things he told our father, he believed him. I confess my sins now, my children, that oftentimes I wish to kill him, because I hated him from my heart. Moreover, I hated him yet more for his dreams, and I wished to lick him, out of the land of the living, even as an ox licketh up the grass of the field. And Yehuda sold him secretly to the Ishmaelites. Thus the Elohim of our fathers delivered him from our hands, that we should not work great lawlessness in Yasharal. And now, my children, hearken to the words of truth, to work righteousness, and all the law of the Most High, and go not astray through the spirit of hatred, for it is evil, and all the doers. Whatsoever a man doeth, the hater abominateth him. And though a man worketh the law of Yahuwah, he perisheth him not. Though a man feareth Yahuwah, and taketh pleasure in that which is righteous, he loveth him not. He despaireth the truth, he envieth him that prospereth. He welcometh evil speaking, he loveth arrogance, for hatred blindeth his soul, as I also then looked on Yosef. Beware, therefore, my children, of hatred, for it worketh lawlessness even against Yahuwah himself. For it will not hear the words of his commandments concerning the loving of one's neighbor, and it sinneth against Elohim. For if a brother stumble, it delighteth immediately to proclaim it to all men, and is urgent, then he should be judged for it, and be punished, and be put to death. And if it be a servant, it steereth him up against his master, and with every affliction it deserveth against him, if possibly he can be put to death. For hatred worketh with envy also against them that prosper, so long as it heareth of or seeth their success, it always languisheth. For as love would quicken even the dead, and would call back them that are condemned to die, so hatred would slay the living, and those that have sinned vainly it would not suffer to live. For the spirit of hatred worketh together with the wicked one, through hastiness of spirit and all things to men's death, but the spirit of love worketh together with the law of Elohim and long suffering unto the salvation of men. Hatred, therefore, is evil, for it's constantly madeth with lying, speaking against the truth, and it maketh small things to be great, and causeth the light to be darkness, and calleth the sweet bitter, and teacheth slander, and kindled wrath, and stirred up war, and violence, and all covetousness. It filleth the heart with evil and devilish poison. These things, therefore, I say to you from experience, my children, that ye may drive forth hatred, which is of the devil, and cleave to the love of Elohim. Righteousness casteth out hatred, humility destroyeth envy. For he that is just and humble is a shame 
to do what is unjust, being reproved, not of another, but of his own heart, because Yahuwah looketh on his inclination. He speaketh not against a holy man, because the fear of Elohim overcometh hatred. For fearing, lest he should offend Yahuwah, he will not do wrong to any man, even in thought. These things I learnt at last, after I had repented concerning Yosef. For true repentance after a holy sort destroyeth ignorance, and driveth away the darkness, and enlighteneth the eyes, and giveth knowledge to the soul, and leadeth the mind to salvation. And those things which it have not learned from man, it knoweth through repentance. For Elohim brought upon me a disease of the liver, and had not the prayer of Jacob my father succored me, it had hardly failed, but my spirit had departed. For by what things a man transgresseth, by the same also is he punished. Since therefore my liver was set mercilessly against Yosef, and my liver too I suffered mercilessly, and was judged for eleven months, for so long as I had been angry against Yosef. And now, my children, I exhort you to love ye each one his brother, and put away hatred from your heart. Love one another indeed, and in word, and in the inclination of the soul. For in the presence of my father I spoke peacefully to Yosef, and when I had gone out, the spirit of hatred darkened my mind, and stirred up my soul to slay him. Love ye one another from the heart. And if a man sin against thee, speak peacefully to him, and in thy soul hold no go. And if he repent and confess, forgive him. But if he deny it, do not get into a passion with him, lest catching the poison from thee he take to swearing, and so thou sin doubly. Let not another man hear thy secret when engaged in legal strife, lest he came to hate thee, and become thy enemy, and commit a great sin against thee. For oftentimes he addresseth thee guiltfully, or beseeth himself about thee with wicked intent. And though he deny it, and yet have a sense of shame when reproved, give over reproving him. For he who denieth may repent, so as not again to wrong thee. Yea, he may also honor thee, and fear and be at peace with thee. And if he be shameless and persist in his wrongdoing, even so forgive him from the heart and leave to Elohim the avenging. If a man prospereth more than you, do not be vexed, but pray also for him that he may have perfect prosperity. For so it is expedient for you. And if he be further exalted, be not envious of him, remembering that all flesh shall die, and offer praise to Elohim, who giveth things good and profitable to all men. Seek out the judgment of Yahuwah, and thy mind will rest and be at peace. And though a man become rich by evil means, even as Esau, the brother of my father, be not jealous, but wait for the end of Yahuwah. For if he taketh away from a man wealth gotten by evil means, he forgiveth him if he repent, but the unrepentant is reserved for eternal punishment. For the poor man, if free from envy, he pleaseth Yahuwah, and all things is blessed beyond all men, because he have not the travail of vain men. Put away, therefore, jealousy from your soul, and love one another with uprightness of heart. Do ye also, therefore, tell these things to your children, that they honor Yehuda and Louis, for from them shall Yehuda rise up salvation to Yashara. For I know that at the last your children shall depart from him, and shall walk in old wickedness and affliction and corruption before Yehuda. And when he had rested for a little while, he said again, My children, obey your father, and bury me near to my fathers. And he drew up his feet and fell asleep in peace. And after five years, they carried him up to Hebron and laid him with his fathers.